say is that you have to do spend the the uh, the daytime to do your projects. I'm working on painting the two wine barrels. I painted one, and now I'm on to the other. As you can see, it's it's been weathered and all that through through time, and so I'm using this wonderful product. It's called Verithane wood stain and what it is is it has the stain as well as the verithane in it and I'm only having to put one coat it says it dries in about an hour but it's working wonderfully um, and it, the application of it is really nice it's not it's not too thin like some stains are this one here has a little bit of additional consistency to it so it makes the job pretty easy but I was so excited about getting this done and uh, I plan to do something on the bands, so we'll see how that comes out later on. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish this uh, painting of of the uh, the barrel. Started decorating these barrels, and uh, I'm on to the second day of working on them. Had to let the stain dry, even though it said a one hour dry time. It got a little too late last night, so. I'm back here to uh, finish the job. I've started the top, put a few, uh, applied a few different colors of paint on there, just to bring a little, you know, festivity to it. I have the uh, lower bands to do. The stain looks great with that product that I use, and um, ready to do it. Painting on the barrels is done, and uh, I'll be showing a full uh, photo in just a little bit. Uh, but it was really uh, challenging trying to get all of these lines straight. So what I ultimately ended up doing was spray painting each of these um, bands. And then I went back and just touched up. I could have taped it up and all that stuff. But I just thought, ah, let me just do it this way. I was in such a rush to get it done. But anyways, I'm really happy with the result. It's very happy and festive and ready to be for family and friends. I also want to mention a tip to clean your hands off with that polyurethane, uh, the Verithane product. Uh, one tip that my son gave me was to use some, maybe some uh, vegetable oil or avocado oil, olive oil, rub it on your hands, get some of that sticky, sticky stuff off if you don't use gloves, which I should have used gloves for this. And uh, it's really easy to clean your hands off, grab a paper towel, clean it off, and then wash your hands with warm soap and water. And it worked out great. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with this and I'm ready to enjoy this new feature in our backyard.